Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, Camino Explorer walkthrough. My name is Luca and in the next few minutes I'm going to show you how to explore the Camino network on, on, our, on our Explorer. But before I start, if you haven't watched the video from Tebea on how to create your wallet, uh, definitely watch that first. It might give you some basics that will help you understand this video better. Um, as you can see here, we're starting on the suite.camino.network, which is where you're going to see most of the applications that are really like core to the Camino network, uh, be home, uh, their home. Uh, and as you can see, we have two right now. We have the wallet, uh, which we're not going to go to now, and we have the Explorer. All right, so as you can see here, we're looking up network activity and statistics. It's good to think about it as, you know, your Google search for whatever is happening on the network. So let's go to the Explorer and just get started. So before I dive into any of the numbers and, and, and uh, words you see here, I just want to start with the very basics, right? So as you can see here, we are in the Explorer. If you touch here, you can, you can switch between your wallet. Um, and then below this, we will see that we have different chains. So the main chains uh, are subnets that are in the Camino network are the C chain, which is EVM compatible, which basically means is connected to the Ethereum world, which uh, brings a lot of compatibility to our network. And then we have the X and P chain, which each have their specific uh, use cases and purposes. And then we have statistics. And statistics will show you a variety of different important graphs uh, related to the Camino network. And it's a definitely an interesting place that we will look at in a bit. And then you have your search bar. So if you're coming here and you already have an address, a hash, a block, a token, you can just come paste that in here and, and go straight to it. Um, so yeah, then we move a bit lower and we have just a quick overviews. And here you can actually click if you wanted more information on the validators. So if we did that, we would be clicking on it. We can see the number of transactions and the total gas fees that have uh, been accumulated in the past 24 hours. Important to note that the Camino network has different uh, networks within it, right? And so here we are on testnet Columbus, but mainnet is already live. So actually you can, you can just switch to it. And now we're actually on the live uh, mainnet that has been gone live. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to stick to Columbus, right? So if we keep going a level lower, we see here, there's two main overviews, right? So one on the left is the latest blocks and one on the right is the latest transactions, depending on what you're trying to do on the Explorer. Um, you're not really going to be looking at the latest blocks, right? Um, there are many different people that share this screen real estate here, right? If you're a validator, you might be interested in looking at, at, at a block and which transactions got included in it. Uh, but if you're, you know, just a user that wants to see uh, uh, latest transaction you made, this might be useful, right? Um, and so I'm not going to go into a lot of depth in this video. We might have a, a, an upcoming video that will dive into more details, depending, of course, if you're a validator or a user or a developer trying to, to, to see transactions on the Explorer. But for this video, I'm going to take a transaction. So we're going to open this transaction here. So this is the transaction ID. And as you can see, it was sent from one wallet to another and it contained zero Caminos, right? So for the moment, we don't show tokens on the Explorer. So it might, there might be uh, ERC-20 or an NFT that was actually transferred because remember we are on the C-Chain EVM uh, Explorer. So if we open this up, we're gonna see that we are in the transaction details page, right? So as you can see, we have the information. We also have what type of transfer it was. So as you can see here, it's EIP-1559. So that's just a standard in the Ethereum world of what type of transaction this was. You can also see the block and you can actually open uh, the, the, the actual block where this transaction got included. And you can see useful information like the timestamp, you know, again, who it was sent from or to. Uh, and then you can see more information on the gas use, the gas fees for this transaction that might be useful for you as a user. Now, let's say you had sent this, uh, this address, right? So you want to see all the past transactions that you made. So let's say this was you, this is your wallet address. We're going to come back to the search bar and we're going to paste it here. As you can see, it pops up. And now we can see all the past addresses that, that all the past transactions that you as a user have made, right? Um, so yeah, this is in short the video. I'm going to stop it here. Uh, but thanks for watching. Stay, uh, you know, follow the channel uh, and like the like the like the button uh, as there will be more videos coming soon. And have a great day. Bye bye.